Okay, so uh, you guys gave me enough crap on my uh, my screw ex extractor uh, test, uh, the one I did in the milling machine, that uh, I figured I'd, I thought I would revisit this. So I asked some of the car guys at work, I said, hey, I need an old junky manifold, an exhaust manifold that's got some frozen or broken screw in it or something terrible. Uh, that that uh, you don't need anymore and uh, that I can do this test with. Well, one of the guys came up with this. Um, it's a an exhaust manifold off of a Toyota MR2, I think is what he said, and uh, turbo mounted here. Um, so our victim here is this, this stud sticking up right here. And it's been in there since like 1992. Um, I guess he took these other ones out, but he couldn't get this one out. and then the project kind of faded or whatever and uh, now it doesn't look real bad because he bead blasted it so um, <laughs> but it uh, um, it looks like a good a good victim so what we're going to do is we're going to try these uh, um, uh, rigid or blue point uh, number 1020 screw extractors on this and this is this uh, this set that uh, that I got a while back Trying to spill the whole damn thing here. Um, these are these guys here that uh, they look like a, a kind of like a splined rod. Okay. Um, now of course uh, um, this being an inch set, um, it doesn't have an, an M10 uh, guide. So you know what? Since you guys gave me so much trouble, I'm going to do this the hard way. Um, I'm going to um, I'm going to cut this stud off. I'm going to make it harder to get a hold of, and I'm also going to uh, uh, hand drill it, okay? And this would simulate uh, um, some kind of terrible uh, car repair situation. <laughs> now, what I am going to do, so you see, see, machinists are smart, okay? They wait for car guys to bring them stuff like this so they can put it in the mill and then do the work, okay? So remember that. So car guys lay under cars, machinists operate machines. That's how. That's the relationship. <laughs> okay, so it never hurts to add a little bit of penetrating oil, okay? So we're just gonna put a little on there. And the longer you have for this stuff to sit, um, the, uh, the better. And you know, ideally that you would heat this up, but we're not gonna use all those tricks because uh, we're gonna pretend we're a car guy laying under a car and, um, and take the stud out. All right, with attempt to take this stud out with this set. So uh, let's, I'm gonna let that sit for a little while. I'm gonna go get some other tools and bring them over here and then uh, bring you in closer and uh, we're gonna go to town on this thing. <laughs> okay, so this has been soaking for a little while. And uh, so what I'm gonna do, the, <laughs> the first complication is, I'm gonna go ahead and just hacksaw this thing off here. Um, Something like that. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll just go flush and really make it bad, huh? Ooh, Ooh that stud feels kind of hard. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh-oh. Might be in trouble here. Hmm, interesting. Oh, wow, look at that, huh? Well, that's interesting. That stud is harder than the monkey's uncle. All right. Um, hmm. That that is very interesting to me. Why they put a a hardened stud in there? Hmm. I wonder if how hard it is. Crap! That's pretty hard. That's hard enough to dull my center punch in one whack. All right. This is going to be a pain in the ass. <laughs> so you guys are going to get your wish. This is going to be a, a, a pain. All right. Um, well, let's see. What that means to me now is um, maybe I'll use an abrasive uh, cut-off disc and I'll slice that off and uh, then attempt to drill it. Let me uh, I wonder if a drill is... Uh, let's see if a drill will touch it here. A 
drill's touching it, but the drill's getting touched too, so. All right, well maybe if we cut it off, uh, um, if we cut it off, it'll be a little softer in the core down there. So let's, uh, let's whack that thing off. Well, actually, I, I tried the hacksaw again, and it, uh, you can get it, it's biting. Difficult enough for you, boys and girls. Flush with the casting. Nothing to grab a hold of, so all we got is our screw extractors. No milling machine. Blah 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 blah. All right, let's try it. Actually, I did such a nice job hacks on that. It's pretty flat. So the stud feels a little different down here uh, as opposed to the end. The end was very hard. This, the file's catching it. The file's catching it and um, the hacksaw cut it down low. So, all right, so I'm going to make a nice flat spot here for a good start on the drill. Touch up my center punch, and let's see if we can get a good center punch in the middle there. Okay, so we're going to use this. Uh, this is that little hammer I cleaned up the other day, uh, my one dollar or two dollar hammer, or whatever it was. Okay, so I'm just going to eyeball the center here. Put a little, just a little dink to make sure that I'm happy with the the center and I'm not scoot it over just a little bit that's better so now the center punch is, is biting it now too all right and yeah, it's dulling it a little bit all right let's see if this drill can hang in there Get some juice. So I'm kind of angling just to try to get on center better. stuff's happening. You know, I really want to be up a little higher on this, but that's all right. Hmm. Really wants to walk. You know what? I'm going to try a different drill. Maybe this drill got injured. I'm going to grab a different drill bit. Oh, 
this is a different drill here. Different drill bed, stub drill. I have no idea how much uh, stud is in the uh, in the manifold itself. I'm guessing it's at least a diameter or a diameter and a half. That's what I would do. Boop boop doo boop boop doo All right, you know what? I'm gonna save some bandwidth. I'm gonna drill that hole, then I'm gonna enlarge it, so. Okay, I finally got through this darn thing. So, right. Trying to show you how, it, there's a little spot, okay, there it is. So that stud is in there one and a half or two diameters almost, so. That's actually bad news for me, because <laughs> that means there's a lot of uh, a lot of thread engagement there. So now I got a I got a hole all the way through. So the smart money is let's see he's still in frame there. Yeah, is put some more of this in there. <laughs> so we'll let that sit, and then uh, we're gonna get the next size up or the. Uh, uh, the size drill uh, out of the set here uh, to open that up for the extractor itself. So, let's see what does it say here? We'll go with the recommendation. Screw diameter, 3 eighths. Um, where is the extractor number 3? Three. 3, oh, okay, that's not too big. So. Alright, extractor 3. Enlarging drill, quarter inch. Okay, so we're gonna buzz a quarter inch through there. Oh, well, this is the same size as I, I used before. All right, so there's the drill. We'll poke that through there and uh, see if we can get that thing out of there. All right, so I got the drill. This probably won't take as long, so get a good start going. This one's going right through there. Yeah, I know. I'm not laying under a car. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, well, too bad. As good as I can do, guys. Yeah, you see how shiny those are? That stuff's pretty hard. Whatever that stud's made out of, it's uh, it's a pretty good one. They must use high tensile studs uh, to hold turbos on. Oop, I think that's the end of it. Now you might ask, why aren't you using your new left-handed drills, there, Mr. Wizard? Well, the reason is I want to, I'm testing this screw extractor set, not the left-handed drills. Catching as it's breaking through there. I hope I don't chip my drill. It still looks okay. Went through, I'm on size. And 
once again add some magic sauce here can't possibly hurt all right let's get this set up and uh, let's see if we can do the uh, the last bit there all right you guys ready for this so we're gonna put this in get that on axis there bigger hammer here so I'm gonna this is the other hammer I got at that same uh, that same flea market we're gonna use that one as a that feels pretty damn in there let's give this a go see what happens here Okay, now you know you're cooking because you have a failure. <laughs> hey Bruce, you, have you done that with one of these? <laughs> okay. Wow, now we're now we're in it. Now we're in it. Well, okay. What do we got here? I think it's fractured though. Alright, let me go get let me go get my uh, my other crap. I gotta try to dig some of that out of there. It's possible that it fractured all the way through and we can we can dig out that uh, uh <laughs> that broken bit. <laughs> See here. Yeah, that's a pretty good heat treat on that. I don't think I'm going to win this one, guys. That's pretty solid. So this is the this is the point where the car guy uh, brings us to the machinist. <laughs> Look at that thing! I think this blasted right off. I, if it, I probably put a little side load on it with that box wrench. I was putting a pretty good uh, a pretty good gronk on it there. Although I think you know this. I'll just regrind the end of that. I you know I got some left. I'll order a new one too. They sell replacements. For this very reason. So, the next question is how the hell do we get this out of here, right? So we get the, a similar problem, but a much harder material. So, um, might have to go over in the mill. So this is the equivalent of a, of a busted tap here at this point. Um, see any more cracks going down through it so I I basically have to drill through the extractor now uh, with a carbide end mill or something like that uh, to get it out so I think I'm gonna switch over to the mill and then uh, so if I can get that out of there then I can go back and uh, uh, give this this stud another go and then what I would do this time different uh, you know when I put this back in is uh, to warm up this casting around that and uh, and ideally expand that a little bit and, uh, and <laughs> try to get it to release. Okay, let's go over to the mill. Okay, we're over here in the mill. I got it clamped to the bottom of this just to kind of get this surface square with the machine. And then I got kind of a beater carbide end mill here. This one's got a pretty good chip in it, but I'm just gonna try to flatten that off to start with and get some kind of uh, some kind of flat spot to work with.
come out of the frame. I got to, oop. Looks like I got a center in that, so let me get a different tool set up in there and I'll change the camera around so you guys have a good close up of this and uh, then we'll see if we can dig into that thing. Okay, so we're kind of centered up. I got an old kind of beater, uh, um, eighth inch ball end mill in there. I think it's a three flute. And uh, we're just going to get a good, a good little start going. This thing though may be, uh, oh, there it goes. All right, so we got a, we got a pretty good start in it there. Let's see what we got going here. Uh, looks okay. It was just taking a lot of feed pressure, so it was bugging me. <laughs> um, hmm. I wonder if I should try jamming through there with that. I don't remember. Oh, maybe I can figure out how long that thing was. Uh, oh, I think I'm going to try to figure out how much how much is in there um, based on uh, uh, what's left of the uh, the broken extractor. So let me let me take a look at that real quick. Okay, I don't think I have that much in there, but let's uh, let's try poking in with this thing a little bit. about breaking carbide too much because um, it just shatters into a zillion pieces so generally you don't um, yeah you don't stick any in the hole so all right let me find something else that's part way gone and we'll continue on all right got a little different end mill in there flat bottom one this time Stop cutting there. There we go.
<laughs> we having fun yet? I don't know how much is left. I think I'm getting close. There we go. Alright, so I'm through the extractor now. Alright, so I'm through the extractor. I think I want to go bigger. Um, I think ideally it would be the same size, or the the tap drill size of the uh, the stud. So let's see if I can find a quarter inch end mill, then we'll dig through that and uh, clear that thing out of the way. Okay, I found a quarter inch that's got a chipped flute, so we're gonna we're gonna try that one in there. See if we can dig out the uh, the extractor. Cutting pretty good. Ooh. Okay, that's through. <laughs> Scared me. I think a little piece of. Uh, I saw something flip out of there. Oh, yeah. Is it? So there's a piece of the extractor. One of the flutes there. One of the flutes of the extractor. So we went kind of right down the middle of it there. Okay, cool. All right, so we're back where we started. Let's, uh, let's go back over to the vise. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna put a little heat on this casting here. Let's see, should I put that thing in there first? Um, yeah, you know what? So I ground the end. I ground off the uh, the snapped off end. I think I'm going to uh, I'm gonna put this back in first. See that? Not really. Alright, let me uh, let me move the camera here so you guys can see this. Alright, I'd say that's firmly seated. on it. You see everything? All right, let's get some heat on it. tension there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Very hot now. <laughs> Let's move in there. Oh, I think my my extractor's moving a little bit. It's psyching me out. Things kicking my ass here. That's pretty warm. Well, I think I'm going to put some more of this on. I'm going to take a break. <laughs> <laughs> 